All right, really, uh, really a complete game for us. I mean, I uh, thought our, our special teams played well. I thought uh, our defense played really well. They gave us four extra possessions with a, a blocked field goal, two turnovers, and then stopping them on uh, a fourth down. And so that was huge. It was th things that we talked about all week. And then offensively, it was, uh, you know, we ran the ball really, really efficient. And uh, Mitch threw the ball as well as always. Was that a run for him on the touchdown, or was there an option? It's a run, block, run pass option. Yeah, it's one, it's one of those RPOs that we have in the offense that he makes a decision on what he needs to do. What led to the effectiveness of the run game? That's the best we've seen him in the ball. Well, I, you know, I told uh, somebody asked me this week, you know, how was Hood, and I, I said he's as close to 100% as he's been all year, and that, that – that means going all the way back to camp. You know, he's he's really feeling good now, and he starts he's feeling like he's 100. percent And so he's breaking tackles. Offensive line did a heck of a job today. You know, I, I thought they all did. I thought we blocked on the perimeter well. Uh, it was just a, an overall team effort. What has the process been like to get Elijah back to this point where he's healthy? And feeling you know, I, I think the biggest thing for him it's been frustrating for him. Uh, mentally, because he, he hasn't been at 100%, and so he hasn't done the things that he really wants to do. Because for him, it's all about contributing to the team and the success of the team. And so I think he, he feels pretty good right now that he's finally back and he feels good about the way he's running the football. How does that change the offense? What can you do with that? Does it affect play well, play? Oh, yeah, sure it does. I mean, because now you get into some third mediums that you know you can still run it, you know, third and threes and, and things, so you, your, your tendencies aren't as, uh, you know, not not all passing when we go to third medium, which helps us because that you know to be able to be over fifty percent on third downs, we're going to have to be able to run the ball some and, and be effective that way. Uh, it also en you know enables you to be in less third longs because you're more effective running the football first second downs. The upgrade is hundred yard receiving games by Bug. Uh, what's been the last few weeks? With well, I can tell you what in this game. They were going to roll. They rolled everything. They rolled a lot of things to Switzer's side. No matter whether we put him in the boundary or to the field, you know, we were looking for ways to get get him into some situations, and and they kept rolling that way. And so, that enables Bug to be in a lot of one on one situations, and he's going to he's going to win the majority of those. Long touchdown. On the long touchdown, uh, you know, we've been running a a a play into the boundary that we were having success with, and they started bringing the safety down, and so we just we decided to pop it, and you know, Bug came open. Offense like that, how advantageous is it to, to get those first two scores and be up ten nothing, and and yeah, you basically be able to trade scores the rest of the way? Yeah, you happens. never feel like you're you know you're you're in a, a comfort range when you're playing against them because you know they can score, and uh, that's what I'm so proud of our defense for, and that's why we talked about somehow be besides the the turnovers that we needed to create, we had to steal a couple possessions, and that meant we had to stop them on a third and short or a fourth and short, which we did once. And then we had, you know, we had to block a field goal, and we did. And that's, I think that's three games now that we've blocked field goals. Larry Mitch was 9 of 11 on third down. I think he picked up seven first downs throwing the ball. He's done that all year long. Is that unique in a quarterback who seems to elevate his play in that such situation? Well, he's really good. I mean, he's, he's good. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll put him up there against anybody in the country. I mean, he can, he can do it. He's, uh, he's pretty calm. The game slowed down for him. His feet are in great shape. He's... Uh, I think he would probably tell you he had one throw he wished he had back, and it was because his, his feet weren't in, in the right place. But uh, he's pretty sound, you know, he's pretty technically sound, and so he makes really good decisions. He takes care of the football. Mikey Bart had a few big plays. He had a play on the 15 yard loss where he kind of forced Thomas to make MJ end up getting him. And he forced the fumble, ran a guy down the sideline. Uh, does he infuse the other guys when he's making all those athletic plays well, like that? No, what Mikey does is Mikey plays the same way every single play. He's going to – He, I mean, that guy's got a motor. He never slows down. When he's on the field, he goes as hard as he can every single play. And I know to you guys, you think, well, doesn't everybody do that? Well, no. No, everybody does not do that. If we could get everybody to do that, that would be – we'd be incredible. Uh, and you would think, well, heck, that's got to be easy to do, isn't it? No, it's not. I mean, uh, to go out there and play as hard as you can each and every snap, it's uh, – a lot of people can't do it. But Mikey just has that motor about him, and he, he does it all the time. Doesn't have that big first quarter as bug as lateral as he was. Long Probably not. I mean, obviously, the more the more we the more you know efficient we are running the ball, the more plays we can make in the air. And so our, our guys know, and that's why that's why those receivers do such a great job of blocking on the perimeter because they know 
Every time they do that, they're creating a situation for themselves that's going to open up something for them. Was there a different point of emphasis for the defense after halftime or anything that changed? Didn't change one thing. Didn't, didn't adjust anything. You know, hey, we wanted to be, uh, all we told them is to go out there and play pissed off. When you look at the progress of this team's made this year, how does it compare to where you were last year at this time? Uh, I mean, this team has a lot of grit, just like last year's team. I mean, they 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 don't uh, they don't flinch in the face of adversity. They uh, they play for each other. I mean, they they've got each other's back. They play really hard together. They love each other. I mean, they're they're very very similar. They really are. You know, uh, you know, we a lot of these guys are the same guys. You know, but. Uh, you know, you got guys like Shotmer and Shaq that were back, and to get to see them, and you know they're they're gone. But you know those young linebackers, you know Cole Holcomb and Andre Smith, and and uh, they they really have have upped their game. They're really starting to feel comfortable with the with what they're doing, and it's all about our preparation. If you watch these guys practice, I mean they 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 prepare really hard, and that's the key. You know, is is I, I can say. You know, that I know exactly what practice is going to be like on Monday. I know what it's going to be like on Tuesday. I know what it's going to be like on Wednesday. I don't have to wonder, are they going to bring it today? You know, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you that I've, I've walked off a practice field thinking, God, that was a terrible practice. I mean, now, I also don't ever walk off the field and say, God, that was sky high unbelievable either. It's just like they kind of stay right, right in this area right here. And as long as they keep doing that, we're going to be okay. I come back and talk to some of the younger guys like Shaq. Oh, all the Shaq. time, yeah. Shaq was in the locker room and shot. They were in the defensive meeting the other day. Really? Yeah, they were in there, and uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's 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 always good to see those guys back. We have a lot of guys that come back. There were a lot of guys here today. Just a short week. What's the rest of your weekend like? Well, we're gonna, when I finish here, pretty much we're going to go back in the office and we're going to we're we're going to start on Duke. Uh, we'll be in here tonight, all night, with the uh, coaching staff. And then uh, we'll give the players off tomorrow because we've got to do 90% of the game plan tomorrow. They'll, we'll practice on Monday, which we don't usually do. Uh, it'll be a short practice, about 15 periods. We'll go with uh, shorts and shoulder pads. We'll come back on Tuesday and have a 15-period practice, and we'll be in uh, spiders. And then on uh, Wednesday, we'll do our drives and our, and our special teams, and we'll do that in helmets, and that's it. The key is making sure they're fresh on Thursday. And I, you know, it is a big deal how, mu how much energy they use in a game, okay? So they'll be beat up, bruised, all those things. And so we, we, the key is just making sure that they're fresh on Thursday. As a coach, you're wanting to put in things, you know, game plan, all these things. But you got really two days. And, you know, they got to be able to execute it. So it's more about them being mentally fresh. No. No. Peaking at this time of year, where do you think you guys are in terms of that? I think we're we're playing our best football right now. I I, I think uh, I think we're getting better and better. And 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 I tell you what, I, I'm really proud of these guys because to be able to do that with the injuries that we had and the guys that we've lost, you know, we lost uh, Caleb Peterson, we lost Mac Hollins. I mean, we you know we lost Jonathan Smith. I mean, we've we've lost some guys now. And so just for us to be playing our best football, you know, the second week in November, I mean, that's uh. That's a tribute to our coaching staff because they've done a great job of bringing these guys along. Take two more if we have them. It's got to be nice to see the line back up from the field, playing, get in, and all that kind of stuff. Very much so, you know, and so it's nice to get him back, you know, and so uh, I, I don't know how he played. I'd find out, but it was just good to have 17 back out there. Was that a question or no statement? <laughs> I was, was going to ask a question. Oh, you were? All right, thanks, everybody. <laughs> a reminder. Media availability this week is Monday after practice. That's it. <laughs>